Hello, welcome back to Hostify. My name is Alex, and today we're looking at how to adopt a switch to the Armada controller. So, with the Armada platform, we've got uh, gateways, we've got switches, we've also got access points, much like Unify, uh, and we're going to show you how to adopt a TP Link switch to the Armada platform. So, first thing you want to do is log into the GUI of the switch. You can do this by finding the IP address. I will just say that the finding the IP address is a little bit tricky. So, at the moment, I've got my Armada controller, I've got a ER605 gateway. And at the moment, as of uh, 19th of January 2024, you can't actually see the DHCP leases on the gateway. So if you, even if you log into the IP address, uh, because you've got it adopted to the controller, the GUI itself is actually sort of disabled. So what I had to do uh, is look at what IPs are being used. So I knew that 0 0.1 was the gateway. I knew that 0 0.3 was my iMac here. And just by chance, uh, 0 0.2 was actually the switch. So I'm going to log into the switch now. And the first thing you're greeted with is the GUI. So the default username and password is admin admin. So admin for the username, admin for the password. So for this video, I'm going to be following the guide that's on the support center. There's a link in the description down below. So if you prefer to just read the steps rather than watch, there's a link for you to follow in the description. So once you've logged in, it actually prompts you to change the password, which is really good uh, practice. So I'm going to choose a new password here. So it actually won't let you go any further forward unless you've changed the password and we've got the entire switch here so it's got a uh, 2.0.7 firmware uh, some details here and the first thing we want to do is give it the controller details and we can adopt it and adopt it to the Amada controller so controller settings uh, so it's connection status disabled cloud-based controller management we can actually enable that uh, accept the terms and conditions and we're going to put the URL in there so if we jump back to our guide we're now at this section here. So it's just finding your inform URL. Uh, you can do this by going to the Amada uh, Cloud Platform if you've got it adopted to that platform. Otherwise, you can go to app.hostify.com and choose your Amada controller. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste it from, from here. So there's a uh, URL there. So I've got my uh, 010689hostify.com. I'm going to put that in there and press apply. So it's operation succeeded. If we go back to the devices panel now, we should see that the switch is ready, and it is. So if we click on Adopt, it will fail the first time because uh, we need to give it a username and password. So it says Adopt and failed. We're going to click Retry, and then the password we put in just now, so when it asked us to change the username from Admin Admin to Admin and then something else, I'm just going to change that now. So Admin and then the password I chose earlier. It says Adopting, and that will get going in a few minutes so after a few seconds literally uh, it says connected and we're ready to use it so if we actually go back to the TP-Link switch GUI and press refresh it now says this switch is being managed by the Amada controller and it says 403 forbidden and it says permission denied so you can't actually use the switch GUI once it's been adopted to the Amada controller very much like Unify except the Unify devices don't actually have a GUI at all apart from the the routers so we can do things here we can view the ports that are in use we can view uh, the IP address, the MAC address, uh, what firmware version it's on, and then if there are any firmware versions for this switch, uh, there aren't just yet, uh, it's on 2.0.7, it, you'll be able to update it from the Amada controller as well. And you can look at what's actually on what port, so uh, you can turn on PoE, turn off PoE, some stats about how much memory and CPU it's, it's been using as ports as well. Uh, you can see what's what in what port and set different VLANs. So that's been a very quick look at how to adopt a TP-Link Amada switch to the TP-Link Amada platform. If you want to learn more about Hostify, visit our website, hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Amada. If you want to get consulting with Hostify Pro, visit our website, hostify.com forward slash pro, and hire an expert today. If you've got any questions about Unify, UISP, or TP-Link Amada, pop us a question in the comments down below, and we will do our best to get back to you. Otherwise, let our support team know, support at hostify.com, and they'll be sure to help you out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.